for every group of students that start the year, there's going to be students who are doing that course or that level or that subject for the first time and those that are repeating them. The sad thing is that these students generally sit in the same class or they get the same information, the same case studies, the same material, and so they study the same stuff together. I want to talk to you and I want to raise your awareness or draw attention to the fact that if you are a repeat student, you should not study it as though this is the first time you've seen the information, right? Because it is not your first time. So it sounds like such an obvious statement, right? And it really is a completely obvious statement. But what am I trying to say? When you went through that information the first time, you went through theory, some application, some work, some revision, some stuff, whatever, and you wrote the exam. Or in some cases, maybe you didn't write the exam. Fine. But when you come to it the second time, when you sit down the second time, why are you starting the year as though you've never seen that information before, right? Why do you start as though you have a clean slate and you've never seen it before, especially if you don't have time? You know, a lot of students, the, the struggle is about time. I don't have time to work through the entire syllabus. But if you're repeating stuff, you kind of ignore what you did last year and you write it off completely and you start with a completely clean slate uh, and you start all over again with the students who are doing it the first time. I want to challenge you to change the way you think about this. And I want to say that you should start where you left off. So when you start the year, instead of starting as though you've never seen it before, pick up where you left off. If you wrote the exam last year, then start at that point. You know, what did you suck at by the time you got to the end of the year? What were you good at and not good at? And pick up from there. You have information and you have knowledge and you have valuable stuff. Uh, don't, you know, you don't need to go and redo that. You can pick up where you left off. A lot of students say, well, Yvonne, the reason that I'm repeating it is because I failed it. So if I failed it, then I clearly didn't do it properly, so I should start all over again. You know, I clearly didn't know what I was doing, I studied it incorrectly, and so I should start all over again. But I want to challenge you to, to actually genuinely assess what you do and don't know. You should start off, quite frankly, by doing a question right at the beginning, right at the start of your studies, before you touch anything, go and do a few questions on, on each or on the different topics to identify exactly where you are. How much do you know and do you not know? How much have you forgotten? How much do you remember? Start off by doing a question, make a genuine assessment, and that's going to help you to identify specific gaps. Then you can go and fix those gaps. Then you can go and say, well, actually, topic one, I'm better than I thought I was. I know more than I thought I did. So I'm happy with topic one. It's topic two and three that I really don't know. And those are the ones that I need to cover. Those are the ones that I need to think about. It. Especially for those students who actually did write the exam at the end of the year. Uh, to, to start your studying as though you've never seen the stuff before really doesn't make sense. And it's a beautiful way for you to save your time by starting off with the question, starting off your year and saying, Let's imagine, or, or, or let's pretend, if you will, that you got an extension on your exam date. Okay, So instead of saying, I'm starting the year again, or I'm repeating it, let's pretend that you got an extension on the exam date, and that you wrote the exam, and you get another chance to write the exam, and you got an extension. So you should carry on where you left off. Carry on your studies where you left off. Improve on the areas that you need to. Uh, you know, keep up and maintain the areas that you already have. But for heaven's sake, don't start again. Don't go back and wipe everything that you know out and start again. Start by doing questions. We hate that. Okay? And students won't do that. And we'll find all sorts of reasons to avoid doing questions. But if you're stuck in a time you know, if, you, if you're stuck with time and if you have limited time, this is the best way to start your year and go, what do I really know? What am I really comfortable with? What I'm really not comfortable with. Bank that information. Bank some of the stuff that you did. You did learn valuable stuff last year. Keep that with you.
So for repeat students, I want to challenge you. Don't start off the year as though you've never seen this stuff before. Start from where you left off. Deal with this or treat this as an extension on your exam date. You wrote the exam, you did tests, you did the stuff last year. Let's imagine that you got an extension on that exam date. How would you now work towards that exam, closing the gaps from the exam that you wrote or from the last time that you saw the stuff? You don't have to start again. So for the repeat students, Guys, this is not your first rodeo, not the first time you did it. Don't ignore, don't write off everything that you've done in the past. You've got valuable information, so think about how to use that information for your benefit and to make this semester better.